Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. I haven't really planned what I'm going to say today because when I wake up feeling like I feel this morning, I don't normally make these videos because I want to, to be upbeat and I want to, to, to try and maybe inspire and motivate and, um, and share some useful advice. But as a sufferer of anxiety and depression, I know that these things and these episodes, if you want to call them that, will just come from nowhere and appear from nowhere. And I call them the dark days. In this video, I just want to spot a real talk with you and, and just tell you how I'm going to get through today um, in the hope that it will help one of you, two of you out there who, um, who may be feeling like this today or whatever day when you wake up feeling like this. First of all, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and please, if you can take another moment to click the Kofi link in the description, I really need your help now to continue with the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much to those who already have done that. So yeah, I've woken up this morning and um, as I say, these feelings or episodes, for me anyway, and I know perhaps for quite a few of you out there, will we'll, we'll just come from nowhere without any warning. I mean, I slept quite well last night and I went to bed last night feeling quite calm and, and relaxed. I'd had a good day. There was nothing, you know, nothing that upset me or, um, or, or, or was playing on my mind in any particular way. Um, woke up at normal time and what Churchill used to call the black dog was upon me when I opened my eyes this morning and it's a crushing feeling and a hor hor horrible feeling of um, anxiety with nothing to explain it first of all so a feeling of um, doom and gloom and uh, no energy and, and darkness and all I really want to do today, if I'm honest with you, is curl up in a, in a little ball in my room and shut myself away for the day. And maybe stuff myself with lo a load of junk food and um, comfort food um, and just watch mindless videos all day, do whatever, but hide away from the world. That's my instinct. However, I know from all my experiences that first of all, that this too shall pass. I mean, that's the first thing to say. Uh, I know that, but I know I have to help it along by doing certain things in a, in a correct manner. And it's gonna be really important for me to do that. In the past, my coping mechanisms for these feelings and this darkness and I, can, I have to describe it as darkness because I can see no, there's no glimmer of light <laughs> in this, at this current moment in time. Um, it's oppressive, that's the word I would use, and a feeling of dread in my stomach and uh, all sorts of horrible feelings anyway. But um, in the past, the coping mechanism for that would have been drugs or alcohol, obviously. But obviously, and that's not going to happen today. And that's not going to happen for a few reasons because I know it won't help me, that's the first reason, because if I do do that, I've lost, I'll lose everything that um, has come back to me, the beautiful things that have come back into my life over the last couple of years. First of all, um, I'll, and so much more around that. But not only that, if I do do that, it will exacerbate the feelings I'm feeling now a thousand percent. I may feel some temporary relief for an hour or two or probably less than that. But the feelings of, you know, I'm feeling now will come back a thousand fold, you know, which, mean, which means I'll then have to drink and drug more and more and more. Which, as you know, won't end well um, uh, at all. So I have a great support network around me first. That's the most important thing to say. And um, when I wake up with these days, because, and they don't happen that often, let me just say that first of all, these days they're further and further apart. But unfortunately, there's, there's an imbalance in there somewhere, which means I'll, I'll always have to deal with this. 
So the support network I have for me just happens to be AA. Um, and that's a pit, my peer group. And I'll go and talk about my feelings today and share my feelings, which will immediately make me feel better in that, in that group and with that support. That's a really important first thing to do. If you haven't got that around you, um, then find some other way of sharing it with a friend or with a member of your family or, um, you know, a, a professional even, even your doctor, anybody that, that can listen or help, preferably a peer group, someone who perhaps, or some people who perhaps understand about the way that you are feeling. Number two is, I, although every urge in my body will get, want me reaching for the chocolate and the crisps and the shit that's around, you know, all that junk. And there's nothing wrong with that occasionally. I'm not shaming people who do that. I'm just saying that for me, that doesn't help matters because a lot of what goes on in your gut affects your mental health. Um, so I'll be straight, you know, when I buy my food today, I'll be buying healthy food. I'll be, I'll be buying food that I know will optimise my thinking um, and my mood. So, uh, you know, that's another thing I'll do. The third thing I'll do today for a definite, although I feel like curling up in my bed, is I'll be out. out. I mean, I go to whether the group and the volunteering I do today and the AA group I go to today, it's, um, it's a good couple of hours of walking. I could get the bus, um, but, and it's not particularly sunny, you know, it's not a hot day, you know, day to day, but I'm going to make the effort and I'm going to force myself to, to walk there and back um, because that is... A couple, I mean, that's quite a lot of walking, but I know that that will really help my mood as well and I'll just walk this off. But the most important thing, I'll share a little parable with you. I've shared it with you before. Uh, you may have heard it before from a book, the, the Boy, the Horse, the Fox and the Mole, where the boy is in a, a, a wood uh, and it's overgrown and there's, there's no path. or And he turns to the horse, he says... I can't see a way through. I can't see the path, I can't see a way through. And the horse looks at him and says, can you see the next step? And the boy says, yes. He says, and the horse just says, well, I'll take that then. And that's really a metaphor for what I'll do today, which is not to think too far ahead. I'll just be thinking the next step. You know, I won't be thinking about the end of the day or, or hoping to feel better. I'll just be taking the next step. And that's, that next step will be getting outside, you know. Well, first of all, it was getting showered this morning and getting dressed and making my bed and doing all the things I know, you know, each step at a time, forcing myself. And then I'm forcing myself to get outside the door and make this walk and go and share my truth to people. And then I'm going to force myself to go to the supermarket. But it's one step at a time. So I'm not overwhelmed by it and um, I'm not, you know, I'm not thinking too far ahead because we can only take one step at a time. And I guarantee you, and this is the way it normally works, that by the end of the day, I'll be absolutely back to normal again. But if I hadn't taken that one step at a time and done these right things, then I'd just be wallowing in a, you know, a worse feeling than I'm feeling now. So I hope that's helpful to one or two of you out there who might be feeling a bit of darkness today or some anxiety today and tell you that there is a way out one step at a time and this too shall pass and you will feel better because all these feelings, no matter how bad they are, it's all temporary. It all, it, it all, it all goes, it all comes and goes and changes um, and providing you're aware of that and, you, and you're just taking that one step and not worrying about what's going on, go on in the future, which causes more anxiety, then you'll begin to feel better, I assure you. But please, number one, talk to somebody, talk to some people, talk to one person, talk to anybody, share the way you're feeling, because I assure you, once you share that, you'll be feeling 100% better straight away. Anyhow, thank you all for listening. Carpe diem, please subscribe, please click the Kofi link, help the channel out if you can. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.